Give a girl the right shoes and she can conquer the world. I'm fairly certain they were talking about high heels. But if you can't walk in heels, how good are the right shoes? Whether you're in a boardroom or the bar. Lucky for you, I have assembled a few extremely helpful tips for how to walk in high heels with ease and grace. I suggest taking these tips to heart and trying them out. What do you have to lose? Save this video because I have put together five secrets to walking in high heels the right way. And while you're at it, why not treat yourself to a new pair of killer, comfy heels along the way. After all, you'll need something to test out your new skills. I will link some comfortable options in the description below. Here comes tip number one. Welcome to Blush With Me. So tip number one is to walk heel to toe. Heel first and then toes. The easiest way to look like an amateur in high heels is to put your whole foot down at once as if you were walking in flats. Even worse is when sometimes people try to put their toes first and then heel. Absolutely a no-no if you want to look natural and confident and you just want to flow. So when wearing heels, put your heel down first followed by your toe. This will make your walk look natural. You see the difference? Comment below. Tip number two, don't rush. Trying to walk quickly in heels often ends up looking quite awkward. Between the smaller steps and the compromised balance, it is best to take time in heels. Besides walking slowly, it gives off an air of confidence. Let me know if you saw a difference there. Tip number three, take small steps. Wearing heels makes your strides shorter than normal. So you'll have to take an increased number of small steps to go the same distance. I am not recommending that you take baby steps, but don't try to take your usual long strides either. For tip number four, lean slightly back. You may find that you want to walk faster than your heels will allow, and you will end up craning your neck forward to compensate. This will look strange. So allow yourself to lean just slightly back when you're walking in heels, as this will counteract the inclination to lean forward. Tip number five is to visualize yourself walking in a straight line. When you want to draw a straight line, you will get better results if you look at the end point as you draw rather than looking at your pencil as it moves. Similarly, when you're walking in heels, you will walk more gracefully if you look at your goal point. Maybe it is the podium or end of the stage or your car. Visualize a straight line going toward the end point rather than looking down at your heels as you walk. If your shoes are ill-fitted, it makes the difficult task of walking naturally in heels almost impossible. If your heels are too big, use shoe pads for better fit. If they're too small, consider having them stretched out with the help of a local cobbler or just find the right fit. I'm Parmita Katkar, your self-image coach. Walking in heels can definitely add to your confidence, but not knowing how to walk in heels can literally rob your confidence away. Everything about your image is very similar. Your makeup skills, your body language, if you learn how to style your body, your clothing the right way, it can boost your confidence and lack of this knowledge reduces your confidence. My job is to help you transform your confidence by changing the way you present yourself in every which way that you may have doubted up till now. To learn more about what I do and how you can work with me, check out my website, parmitakatkar.com. Schedule a complimentary session with my team. And once we determine that you are the right candidate who needs my help, if you are ready to put your 100% into becoming your own role model, then I will be proud to be your coach. I highly recommend that you purchase my masterclass that gives you my four secrets to transform your personal brand. With a special 50% discount that's applicable only for this month, you should definitely invest in it right now. My short form content is absolutely free for you to watch either on my channel or on my other social media handles. So hit that subscribe button and the little bell icon next to the subscribe button and follow me on all my other social media platforms. My team and I put endless hours and efforts into creating these videos just for you. 
which otherwise would cost you a lot if you had to learn one on one with me so i can keep making better content just for you join my channel membership and get additional exclusive content and access to connecting with me on a deeper level the third membership level is definitely the deeper level that i'm talking about this level offers live streams and additional perks but you're welcome to join any of the three levels do comment and tell me if you think you're confident about styling your jewelry we talked about shoes today what about jewelry comment i look forward to your suggestions and requests i will see you next week until then blush with me